Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for June 10th, 2023, from Proverbs chapter 24, verse 17. Do not rejoice when your enemy falls. Let not your heart be glad when he stumbles. Now, this is a hard proverb to follow. It is so natural to want to see and to celebrate the enemy falling and stumbling. But we need to remember that God does not rejoice with the death of the wicked. So we should not rejoice when the wicked fall. You see, God is always looking for repentance. So we should respond with that love and forgiveness, which is the same that God responds to us when we fall. Verse 18, lest the Lord see it and be displeased and turn away his anger from them. So when the enemy falls, we should not rejoice because the Lord will see it and turn the anger away from the enemy. Think of it this way. Our rejoicing over a fallen enemy is a punishment. That means that God doesn't need to punish them. They've already been punished. They've already received their reward. God will judge on the last day. And the Bible reminds us that vengeance is mine. So Jesus reminds us we should love our enemies not rejoice over their failures and not take out our vengeance upon them either. Verse 19, fret not yourself because of evildoers and be not envious of the wicked. Now, this is really a first commandment language issue. You could say we are not to fear nor fret the evildoers, but we are to put our fear and trust in God alone. As we trust in God alone, we also realize that God Almighty does indeed give us each day our daily bread. So that means we shouldn't be envious of the wicked since God has provided what we need to support our daily life. Verse 20, for the evil man has no future. The lamp of the wicked will be put out. There is no need to envy the evil nor their wealth because they are not going to be able to take their wealth with them to eternal life. But as Christians, we have received the gift of faith. And that means we will take that gift of faith, so to speak, with us for the rest of eternity in paradise with Jesus. Now, when the Bible says the lamp of the wicked will be put out, it doesn't mean that they will no longer exist. For hell is an eternal place. So what the Bible is trying to tell us is that the wealth and the power that the wicked enjoy now will be removed. That that lamp will be extinguished. And remember, The world is attracted to that wealth and power, just like you could say the insects are attracted to that light flickering in the dark. So the Bible reminds us that as Christians, we believe and trust in Christ and that we will be given eternal life and our blessings and wealth will be there. Verse 21, my son, fear the Lord and the King. And do not join with those who do otherwise. Notice the emphasis of fearing and trusting God and the king. We need to remember the government is set up by God for our own protection. And as Christians, we should not participate with those who have no respect for God and the government. Now, as we look back at our history here in the United States, there have been times when the people have not supported the government as well as they should have. This also applies in our relationship with God. When we look at our own history, have we always respected God? So we need to be reminded that this verse is a first commandment issue, that we should respect 
fear and love and trust in God above all things. And fourth commandment issue, respect those in authority that God has placed over us, including the government, God's peace, and many blessings be with you. And thank you for listening. And please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for listening.